are just a little over 12 hours away from the crown jewel of the Rose Festival. So many people are waiting for this. The Grand Floral Parade winds through the streets of Portland tomorrow morning. And as our core Harlan shows us, for some people, the parade ritual has already started. Chalking up the sidewalks of Northeast Weidler this morning, Dulce Rivera is trying to create enough parade watching space for family and extended family. There are aunts and uncles who bring husbands and wives with them. And when the parade floats roll by here Saturday morning, Dulce will be here with 24 cousins to watch the parade. An opportunity to get together. The kids love it. We Everything we do family-wise is just for the kids. They love coming here every day, so we bring them, even if it rains. <laughs> There are the kids and there are the kids at heart. People like Yvette McDonald from Camas, who's here on her day off, getting a prime parade watching spot. We come out here in the morning and we stay the night and we barbecue and just have all the family and the grandkids and the husband and everybody just comes out and has a good time. We've been doing it, I think, what is it, three years now. Yvette brought dogs Sancho and Chloe to the parade, couldn't leave them at home. The lawn chairs are in place and they're ready to live it up while they're here for the next day. Your husband will be out here with the grill this afternoon. Yeah, and I said before, this is why we sit in front of Wendy's. He burgs, burns the burgers. We go to Wendy's. <laughs> Parade kicks off from the Coliseum at 10 o'clock Saturday morning as an annual early summer tradition gets started, fueled by the dreams and the wide eyes of the young and the young at heart. In Northeast Portland, Cor Harlan, Point Six News.